welcome welcome back to my channel as you guys can see today in the title i'm gonna be doing a swash that's why i have these pages open uh, today is january 30 and it's tuesday and i want to do a swash of some new inks that i bought for 2024 so before we start let me just turn on a candle this one is the candle of today this is the winter pine and you guys know that i absolutely love it it's already like really used a lot but yeah, as the word say it smells like pine. But if you don't know me, my name is V, and I made so many videos about stationery, a lot of unboxing, a lot of paper, planning, anything related with stationery is what I do. So today, before we start with this, I just wanted to mention I'm going to be doing the swatch in here. And then after that, I will go and set it up into my swatch kind of journal or my ink journal but not today today i just want to do it in this page really quick to show you guys which ones i got and this one's in here is my hobonichi tesho 2024 and this is the apex that i absolutely love and now i'm using it for just like a little bit of it, brainstorming or anything that comes into my mind during each day so i have this one in this beautiful cover by hobonichi that just says have a nice day and yeah i'm gonna be using that so let me show you what I have in here. I have some paper towels that I'm gonna be using to dry out this beautiful in here. This one in here is my deep pen. And I absolutely love this. This is the Kakimori one. And this one in here is the Sakura base. It actually got some ink in there and it's kind of hard to take it out, but I love it. It looks so pretty. This is a brass kind of tip and it's really nice. Then in here, I have this. I bought something on facebook last year and the person that i bought it from actually sent me these so these two i also want to do the swatches because i never did the swatches so i kind of want to do that so i have these two in here this is the hamlet and this is the party time uh, she told me that these ones in here actually i cannot use it on every single fountain pen because they are shimmer so let's try to try it out and see how it is apart from that i have some water in here to wash out my deep pen. Then in here, I'm not gonna use it, but I do have in here my ink journal. And in here, I have this box of everything that I bought. So this ink, I bought it, I bought it at Banes. I'm gonna put in here the name of the store. And this store sells so many samples. And I really wanted to do samples. Let me try to open this. It's called banes1938.com this is the website for them and this is the exact same one as the one that i bought and as i was saying they sell so many samples i really wanted to buy samples because i feel like if i buy really big ones and i don't like it i really don't end up using it but i found out that the samples is more than enough ink for me to use it like three times in a fountain pen so that's nice so i bought many samples in here so let's just start getting some of this so this video is not so long so I may have to use more than this. I think I'm just going to show you guys the name. And I'm going to do a sample in there. Comes with this beautiful swash play. This is so cute. This is the Robert Oster signature. I like this a lot. So I'm going to keep that. So in here, this one in here is the Lamy Black. So let's try it out this one. So Lamy Black, ooh, looks like a brownish black. Hmm. That's how the Lamy Black looks. It kind of looks like a brown when you look at it, but that's nice. So we have the Lamy Black. Let me put them in here. Then I also got this Lamy Blue Black. So this is supposed to look blue. So let me just try to do a little swash. Oh, this looks really blue. Let's see. Yeah, that looks more blue than black. That looks nice too. Let's move on with the next one. This one is the Robert Oster and this is the color khaki. This is one that I was really excited about because I really like khaki color. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. It's kind of like a greenish, brownish color. It's perfection. I love it. Then let's move with the next one. This next one is Robert Oster African Gold. So let's see how it looks. 
Oh, this is pretty too. It's kind of like a brown, orangey, yellowish kind of color. That looks pretty. Let's go with the next one. This one in here is the Hiroshi Suku, and this is the Kiri Same or Same. Kiri Same. This looks like a kind of like black kind of color. Yeah, this is like a black. I think since I have water, it looks like watered down, like kind of like a more like a black gray kind of color going on in there. Then let's see this one. This one is the Robert Oster in black violet. So let's see how it looks. Oh, this is a really nice black. I really like that one. I like this black a lot more than the Lamy. The Lamy is like a really, really black. Like this looks a little bit more purplish kind of black. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but that's nice. So we finished already the first bag. Let's go into the next one. The next one is P.W. Ackerman 18 and it's the Garuda Rude. This is kind of like a reddish color, but this is interesting. Oh yeah, this is a nice red. I may be using this one. Then this other one in here is the same brand, the P.W. Ackerman Dutch Masters one. And this is the Cerulean Blau Bam Bermin. Oh, Bermin. This is a really long name. Oh my goodness. So let's see this one. Oh, this is a really pretty blue. I like that blue. That's like the primary color blue when I think of blue. That is so nice. Now, let's move into this one. This is a red. This is the same brand, P.W. Ackerman 21, and this is the Chinatown red. So, let's hope it's like a really, really red. Because the reason why I bought so many inks is because I want to get into different kind of reds. I have like so many reds that are brownish. Ooh, that one is really nice. Okay, I think I like this one more than this one. This one is a little bit darker. This is really bright. Is These both look like primary colors. Kind of going there. Now, this is the exact same brand. And this name is the Levens Cardinal Pras or Pars. I don't know how to pronounce that. But let's try it out, this one. Ooh, this is kind of like a purplish one. That's nice. I like it because even though I see these ones online, when you actually try out these inks for yourself, it's kind of different a little bit. This one is the same brand, and this is the Rembrandt a Carmosigin. This is so hard to pronounce these names. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing everything so bad, but all the names are going to be in the screen so you guys can also see it Ooh, this is a nice red it's kind of like a pinkish red i really like this one and this one it looks really nice too so let's see the next one this in here same brand and this is the big card hacks <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce it but this look like a brownish kind of color Oh, yeah, that's a nice brown. You guys can see it better when it dries out, but it looks really pretty. The next one is the Califolio, and the name is the Olivastre. So this is kind of like a greenish color. So let's see. It looks like really greenish. Ooh, yeah, I love that green. I really, really like that green. It's really nice. The next one in here is the same brand and is the Borgogne. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one looks that it's kind of like a purplish, kind of like a dark purple. Yeah. I kind of like this purple more than this. This one looks more like 
pinkish purple this look like a dark nice purple like vintage purple that's nice let's move to the next one this is the that brand the same pw ackerman and the name is aston root van vermeer so let's see this look that is gonna be like a reddish kind of color yeah another kind of reddish Ooh, yeah i like that red that red is really nice really like that red the next one in here is the diatramentis and this is the red brown i'm really excited to see this other red brown as you guys can see i bought so many reds going on in here because i really wanted to explore the red options that i have so let's see Ooh, yeah this is nice color i like this one a lot this is a really nice brown with red I don't know why, but it reminds me of Harry Potter for some reason. This one in here is that P.W. Ackerman and it's the Charlotten Van Janstein. And it's another red. So, so let's try it out. Is this one in here? Hmm, that one looks like another kind of pinkish red. It's really similar to this one though. then let's try it. this other one this is the aurora and the color is black so let's try to see if it's actually black black oh yeah this is a nice black kind of reminds me of the lamy but this one in here is really black like more than the lamy that looks nice so let's just start with this one. This is the Ferris Wheel Press. I really like this brand. And this is the Autumn in Auburn. So let's see how this is. This look like it's like an orangey brown. And I really love browns. This look like honey. Kind of looks really similar to that other one I got in there. I mean, it's not bad. It's nice. I may use it. Let's see how it goes when I use it with some phantom pens. It may be interesting to see how it dries with phantom pens. This in here is the KWC and this is the flame red. So let's see this one. This look like really like blood when they take my blood out. Of. Oh yeah, this is like a really condensed red. Is that even the word? <laughs> That's really nice. That's really nice. They all kind of look similar in some way. I will have to do my ink kind of like swashes into my ink journal later on and try to see the differences. This is the KWZ and this is the Foggy Green. This is one that I'm really excited because it kind of looks like forest green when I saw it in online. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. It's like a really dark green and it looks amazing. Yeah, I love that color. So let's try this out. And as you guys can see, our water is getting really dark in there. Then we have this one. This is the KWC and this is the grapefruit color. So another red. So far, these reds look really similar. They look really different when I... Oh, this one is kind of like an orangey red. That's different. Yeah, this is more orange than red, I think. This is nice. I do like this one a lot. That is kind of like orangey red. Now let's move into tomorrow, <laughs> the 31st, because it's kind of like hard to do everything one page. So this one is here is the Kyo Iro, and this is the zero one. And it's the John's Cobblestones color. So let's see what kind of color comes with that. So let's try this out. So let's try this one out. Oh, wow. This is like a really brownish brown. Yeah, this is nice. And for some reason, this one looks like really empty. Once I put it down there, they sent me like half tube of this sample. 
which is crazy. I thought that the other ones had a lot more. Now, let's go into this one. This is the Kobe 2022, and this is the Shinkaishi Gold. So it's kind of like another brown, greenish kind of color. So let's see how it looks. Oh, I love this one. Love, love, love. This is so pretty. Oh, yeah. I like that one a lot. That one is super pretty. It kind of reminds me of the khaki one. It's so pretty. The next one in here is the Roher and Cleaner sketch. And this is the jewel. So, let's see how it looks. Ooh. This is an interesting color. Oh, I like this one. That is an interesting pink red kind of color. I really like that one. It's kind of like purplish, pinkish, red color in here. That's really nice. That looks really nice. Then let's move into this one. This thing in here is the same brand as before, and this is the Document Black. So let's see how black this black is. <laughs> Ooh, this look really black. Oh yeah. This is really black, black, black. That's nice. So excited. Okay, the next one in here is the rubber oyster and this is the thunderstorm. So this look like it's gonna be another kind of black as well. This one looks that it's gonna be black as well so let's try to see oh, no it's actually kind of like blue so let's see it's kind of like a dark blue i don't know if you guys can see it really nice but we can see when they are drying out the colors are really coming out but this is like a blue this is really nice let's move into this one this one here is the viola by robert oster and this i'm really excited because this one and this one I'm really excited because this is like a purple one. So, oh yeah, this is so nice purple. I really like this one. I really like these two. They look really pretty. I think I'm going to use this one for February, this purplish. Let's see. This is so pretty. I think I got so many nice colors to use for February. And I'm so excited to see which ones I choose this upcoming month. So let's see the next one. And we have these are the final four. So let's try to see how they look. This one in here is the Vinta and this is La Paz. So let's see how it looks. This look like it's going to be kind of similar to these kind of colors. Yeah, it's really similar though. It's one or another kind of khaki coin going on in there. This is pretty nice. Then the next one is this one. This is the Taxia. And this is the Hokusai Fukaki Hanada. So I'm sorry again because I am <laughs> pronouncing everything wrong. But it looks so pretty. So let's see. This looks like a blue one. So let's see. Oh, yeah. This is really pretty. It's so similar to this one, though. Kind of like a light blue, but it's still really similar to that one. They didn't seem so similar when I bought it online, but that's okay. This one in here is the Vinta Tandikang. So let's see. So this one is going to look... Oh, this is nice. Oh, I love this one. I think this is my favorite blue I got this time. Looks so nice. So pretty. It's kind of like blue, but at the same time, it kind of has like a gray inside it. This is really pretty. I love it. Looks so cute. Now, let's move in here. This one in here is the band Diemens Underwater. And this is the Neptune. And this is the Neptune's Necklace. So, let's see. This seems that it's going to be another kind of like khaki brownish color in there. 
So let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like greenish khaki color going on. It's really nice. I kind of like this one the most of all of them that I got. This one is really... But at the same time, when I buy these ones and they are so light like that, I'm kind of worried that if I use fountain pen, I can barely see the color coming out. But I don't know. It may be just me. So the last two is the ones that I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I got it from someone from Facebook as a gift from something that I bought. So this one in here is also sold at the same store and the name is Diamond Red Edition and this is the party time. Again, these are shimmer colors. So I cannot use it in all the phantom pens. I was recommended to use it with deep pen. So this is the first one. Oh, that's really pinkish. That would be really nice for February. That's really, really pink. That's all I will say. <laughs> if you have seen my videos, you know my thoughts about pink. But yeah, that's really pink. The next one in here is the wearing goal. And this is Hamlet. So let's see. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, this is really nice. That's really nice. Thing is so funny because I never bought shimmery inks until I never bought myself any shimmery inks. Let me put this. Let me put this away so I can show you guys all the inks in here that we swatched today. So these are all the inks that I swatched today. And you can see I bought many this time. You guys can see it in here. They look really pretty. And now that they have been drying a little bit, you guys can actually see the shimmer on this too. I never actually own some shimmer inks. I love the color of this one. I wish I have it without shimmer so I can use it in my fountain pens. But these colors are stunning. I absolutely love this. I think my favorite ones are this one in here. I really love this one in the pinkish. These three in here are perfect. I really like this one as well. But these three and these ones are really similar. So I also love this one. This one is kind of like brownish. I love this and this. This one mostly because it looks like forest green. This one is really pretty. When it comes to browns, I didn't get many browns. I like this one, but this one is perfection. This one is kind of like an orange brown. And it looks really, really nice. Black ones, I must say that this in here is the one that looks the most black. This one looks kind of like shimmery one. I need to double check. But this one is kind of like a greenish one. And this one kind of looks black, but it looks kind of like blue-black in real life. This one in here is also really nice. And overall, I love all the inks. And it's really nice because, let me tell you, this was not extremely cheap. Let me try to see in here. You guys can see the total price was $121. But I paid that for all these inks. As you guys can see, I have like so many inks. And if I buy just one little bottle of ink, sometimes it can be even $20 for some of them. So I think it's pretty good the price that you can pay. If you guys can see in here the prices, some of them are like $3. Most of them are $3.50. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm not a sponsor at all by this company. I hope they sponsor me and send me so many inks. But I don't think they are even going to find my video ever. But anyways, I absolutely love the company. I love how you can get so many little cute um, samples for inks. And then you can try it out. You can see if you really like it. And then you can buy a new one. So for example, this one, I would love to buy a big ink. But actually, now that it's drying, I think this is a shimmer one too. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of has a small shimmer in there. I think this one is a shimmer one, which is so sad because I love it. Yeah, this is a shimmer one for sure. Mm, that's one of the ones that I really like the most, but I don't think I'm going to able be able to use it in my fountain pen. If you guys have any recommendations of fountain pens where you can use shimmer colors, please let me know because I would love to. But anyways, so to end this video... Hey, thank you so much for watching. This is just some swatches of inks. You guys know that I'm absolutely in love with fountain pens. Since I joined the fountain pen 
group of people like i want to get all the fountain pens in the world but the ones that i buy usually really cheap i don't buy fountain pens that are more than a hundred dollars there is only one in there that i really want to buy that is the vanishing point but uh, i got one second hand but i really want to buy the black one the matte one but that will be for another time when i have more money so all the fountain pens that i buy are usually less than a hundred dollars and um, they are really nice i love fountain pens so i'm so excited to have so many more inks for my fountain pens so i will show you guys in another video of this month which of the inks i choose you guys if you haven't seen i have in here a video for my ink journal where i have so many more inks of all the ones that i own before i bought this but I'm going to try to select some inks to use for February and I'm going to show you guys which fountain pens I chose for February as well, which I'm so excited because I bought so many new ones in January. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, go and buy some samples if you don't want to pay a lot of money for big battles. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.